Hey there, in this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to position the items along the main axis, which goes, as you hopefully remember, from left to right. And that's because we probably don't want all of our items to be squeezed together over here at the left hand side. Because we might, for example, want a little bit of spacing in between them, or maybe move the logout item over to the right hand side. So let's jump into the code and see how we can achieve this. We're going to use the property called justify content, as that's the one which controls the content along the main axis. Justify content can take a range of different values, and I actually want to paste in a few of them here for you to experiment with towards the end of this lecture. By default, justify content is set to flex start, meaning that the content is squeezed together at the start of the main axis, which is the left hand side. If we change it to flex end, then as you can see, the content will move over to the end of the main axis on the right hand side. We can also use center and that will of course center it. Now it also has a few other nice properties which start with space. Let's try this space round. This value will give each item an equal amount of space on its left hand side and right hand side. Because as you can see when two items are besides each other, the space is twice as wide as if as if it's only an item and then the start of the container or the end of the container because this space here is twice as wide as this space here and this space here. So what I want you to do now is try out these last few values for yourself, space between and space evenly. So pause the screen cost and change this value here to these two and observe how the items are laid out in the main direction. And try to understand how these three, space between, space evenly, and space around, differ from each other. Once you've done that, just resume back to the screencast, and then we'll continue with the course. Okay, so hopefully you have been doing a little bit of experimentations. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the Q&A section. And in the next lecture, you're going to learn even more about how to position items along the main axis. So I'll see you there.